Hi, I'm Ellie Winkle with Spectrum Services, and today we're bringing you inside our in-house engineering compliance lab in Southern California. What we're going to do today is take you through the process of testing and evaluating ballasts, as well as explain to you the advantages of low-frequency digital square wave technology versus the existing high-frequency sawtooth waveform digital ballasts that are common in the marketplace today. We tested Galaxy from Sunlight Supply, NextGen from CAP, Phantom from Hydrofarm, Quantum, Lumatech, and the Badass from Advanced Nutrients. Five of these ballasts operate under high-frequency sawtooth waveform, while the Badass ballast was the only one incorporating the low-frequency square wave technology. What we will do here is help to demystify the differences in technology, as well as explain the advantages and disadvantages. I will also dive into our theory of clean light versus dirty light. Let's start by testing the quantum ballast. As you can see here, the instability in the waveform is an indication of a not well controlled server loop or power supply. If we look at the waveform over a greater period of time, we can see that there is a lack of control both at high frequency as well as low frequency. This is common with all of the ballasts in our tests that operate with the existing sawtooth waveform. When the badass ballast was tested, the results were different. The low frequency square wave technology currently used in the badass ballast doesn't show any of the typical symptoms of instability seen in the other ballasts. A big advantage of the design is that the signal is controlled both at low frequency as well as high frequency. This shows us that the other supplies are inferior to this design. So an obvious advantage we see here with the square wave technology is an aging of the bulb. Due to the instability of the signal and high crest factor of the ballast, the lamp experiences greater stress due to the higher peaks over the mean input. Only square wave technology can approach or achieve a crest factor of 1, since the peak output is equal to the mean output. This means you get 100% of the light output 100% of the time. In order to test this, Spectrum Services developed a system of hardware and software that measures the photometric response of the lamp to the ballast output and then converts that information into electrical energy and data. This allows us to study real-world responses to light output being driven by different ballasts and how it will affect the quality of light being delivered to plants. Plants, like humans, respond to light-based stresses. Just as old flickering fluorescent lights in the workplace can cause stress, unstable or dirty light can cause similar stresses or responses in plants. When we compare the light energy or stability of the ballast output, we can see the lamp response directly correlates to the signal of the ballast. What this tells us is that a lamp being driven by a ballast utilizing sawtooth waveform technology will flicker at the same frequency as the ballast's output. In addition, if we look at this over a greater time period, the lamp responds both at the high frequency as well as the low frequency. So not only are we experiencing a high frequency flicker, but the intensity of that flickering output is attenuating. Now comparing this to the square wave technology utilized in the badass ballast, we can see that the output is stable and linear matching the ballast output. This holds true over a greater time period as well. Based on this research, we have come to a couple different conclusions. First, due to lack of stability in the ballast output, the lamp life is affected due to accelerated aging of the lamp. Even though it seems like a minor difference between the average and peak output, it might actually be a square law difference apart. More important is the theory of clean light versus dirty light and how the quality of light these ballasts produce differ. Due to the level of advancements in growing techniques and technology utilized by growers today, it is hard to ignore a fact as significant and important as the light being delivered to the plants. Experienced growers go to the extent of measuring PPM of your RO water sources as well as the ingredients added to it, the pH of your nutrients and medium, temperatures, CO2 levels, even with lighting, the time and spectrum are adjusted accordingly to the stage of the plant's growth cycle. It seems only logical to put the same type of attention and care into the quality of the light being delivered. Not all nutrients are created equally, and same goes for lighting. It makes sense why an industry leader like Hortelux has followed the innovations and advancements we developed here at Spectrum Services, along with advanced nutrients, when they made their decision to follow suit and utilize low-frequency square wave technology for their upcoming Platinum Series ballast. We thank you for your time and look forward to developing and bringing more innovative technologies and advancements to the horticulture industry.